Hey guys, welcome back to another week of School Idol Channel Rankings. This will probably be the last School Idol Channel Rankings video I'll be doing. As I mentioned in my latest card review, I'm probably gonna take a little break from making other videos just because I'm just so burnt out from 10 months of continuous card review after card review after card review. So I'm gonna be taking it easy for a while, but you'll still get the card reviews for August, don't you worry about that. And once I do get my video creation groove back, I have some nice ideas for alternative videos I would like to pursue. So there will be more content coming soon. But for now, let us just go over the final rankings for this week 4, and I'll give you my predictions for week 5, but at this point, I don't think I can predict anything anymore. Global Server is just a mess in terms of rankings, and we're gonna see why once we get into the top 5. So here we are, the top 5. First place, Maki. Second place, Nico. Third place, Shioriko. Fourth place, Setsuna. Fifth place, Hanamaru. First of all, why? It's Nico's birthday! Come on! Can a birthday girl win for once? It's their special day! This is like the third birthday. The birthday girl has just been denied the spotlight. There's no excuse this time. There's no event going on to influence the rankings. This is just probably because of some clandestine effort from the Maki fans. All I really have to say is, could you pick a different week? These two girls, Maki and Nico, a lot of fans ship them. I don't think it's very ship like nice of the shipping to have like Maki ruin Nico's birthday, you know? That's just my own thoughts on the whole thing. I'm just hoping that for the upcoming birthdays in August, we'll have a birthday girl actually win for one. I think the sad thing is that up until probably like the last hour, if you were keeping track of the rankings, it was actually pretty close. Nico had like a lead for first place pretty much for the entirety of the week up until that final hour. And then I guess the secret clandestine Maki Oshi Discord just decided it's time to like, use all our cheers. And here we are. Look at that huge point discrepancy. And once again, a birthday girl gets denied her time in the spotlight. Okay, with that little rant out of the way, let's talk about the actual rankings. So in my predictions, I kind of just spitballed four girls that were in the lower popularity brackets as the top five. That was kind of me hedging my bets because I had a feeling that one of these less popular girls was just gonna pop off in this week. And it did turn out it was Maki. I ranked her as number three and she turned out to be number one. Yuriko, Tetsuna, and Hanamaru are in the top five as well. That's not really a surprise. They're all meta girls. Things get a bit more interesting once we go down the lower rankings, so let's just go over the rest of them now. Alright, for rank 6, we have Ayumu, rank 7, Kanon, rank 8, Riko, rank 9, Yo, and rank 10, Katori. These rankings, for the most part, are probably meta-based. Aside from Ayumu, which seems like the only outlier, she doesn't really have a strong meta card, per se. She does have a few good cards, but none of them are meta-defining. Kanon is self-explanatory. Riko is doing a lot better than I expected. In the first few weeks, Riko was underperforming, but then had that really good week due to being featured in an event. And now, I guess she's gonna be in the consistent top half. We have Yo in ninth place now which is a huge improvement from rank 16 of last week. I think that Yo just isn't meta enough to reach top 5 again. That one week was just kind of the exception. But I think she is popular enough to reach a consistent top 10 now when there isn't any kind of other influence that will affect the rankings. And for Katori, again, really just probably the most popular Muse girl as far as I know. So she'll probably be in the top 10 consistently as well. Rank 11, Umi. Rank 12, Rina. Rank 13, I. Rank 14, Mari. Rank 15, Ellie. Just as I expected, Umi did do better than the previous weeks. Pretty much my thesis for School Idol Channel rankings goes is that if a girl is unpopular, then they will eventually climb the rankings and be very popular at which point then they'll drop down to low popularity again because we have all the whales trying to metagame each other into picking unpopular channels just so they can have an easier chance to get those channel tickets without any competition and as a result 
It props up these girls' rankings artificially. And case in point, we have Ai at rank 13. Ai just seems to be one of those Seesaw characters, reaches the bottom of the rankings in one week, then Seesaws into the top half for the following week because of less competition, or people thinking it's less competition, and then going back down once the whales have finished with Ai's channel and are going to a different channel so that they can get more inside pins. Time for the bottom rankings. Rank 16, Kanata. Rank 17, Yoshiko. Rank 18, Shizuku. Rank 19, Chika. And rank 20, Honoka. I don't know why Kanata is so unpopular, especially when I think Party Kanata is in the top three most powerful cards in the game. So investing in Kanata's bond board would be a good investment if you are a whale. But maybe it's best that Kanata remains a sleeper choice. It does fit thematically with her after all. Yoshiko, I did expect not to do too well this week. Although I ranked her in the upper half, she appears to be in the lower half. Shizuku continues to be very unpopular, but it's only a matter of time until Shizuku does reach the top 5. I feel like eventually every girl will reach the top 5, but last week was certainly not it. And then we have the orange hair leaders in rank 19 and 20. I expect them to be a lot higher for the following week when it is their birthday. If I had to guess what's going to happen, we're gonna focus on Chika this week, even though it isn't her birthday week. But if you subscribe to her channel this week, then you'll be eligible for the memorial pieces when you do get the login bonus on August the 1st. And then for the following week, you can then switch over to Honoka's channel to get the bonus pieces for her as well. Finally, we got the bottom of the bottom. Rank 21, Nozomi. Rank 22, Daya. Rank 23, Haneo. Rank 24, Kasumi. Rank 25, Karin. Rank 26, Ruby. Rank 27, Rin. And rank 28, Emma. And I'm not too surprised about these bottom rankings. They are self-explanatory for the most part. They comprise of the less popular girls from each group, or girls that just have ranked pretty high in the past. So now there's less focus on these girls now. Ruby and Rin did have high placements in previous weeks. It only makes sense that now they're pretty much at the bottom. It looks like I also got Emma's placement right. So two girls correct this week. That's a victory in my books. Even getting one girl correct in the right placement is hard enough. But getting two? Ooh, I'm getting better at this, baby. Now it's time for my predictions for this week, and again, through the power of video editing, you'll see it instantly, even though it'll take me a while to actually do it. Alright, we are back, and this is my final week of predictions. I will not be doing this moving forward, because I just want to take a huge break, just to recover from the 10 months of continuous card reviews I had to pump out. And how fitting that we're going to be ending off on the original leader's birthday week. I still have hope that the birthday girl can be first for their birthday. It's Honoka, the original leader. She has to be first. There's no way she's not first. If she's not first, well, I don't even know what to say anymore. For the other top five placements, they're mainly influenced on the event cards. We have Yoshiko as the UR card, Nico and Hanamaru as the SR cards, so I'm expecting them to be placed high in the rankings. Rank 5 is Setsuna. I still think the influence of Party Setsuna is going to be strong, so there's going to be players wanting to go to her channel to just get more of those memorial or memento pieces. Rank 6 through 10, Chiriko, Katori, Karan, Riko, and Yo. Mostly popularity, mostly meta choices. I think moving forward, it's going to be a safe bet that these five Five girls will be in the top half, more or less. Rank 11 through 15, I've got Karin, Haneo, Kanata, Emma, and Rin. Karin, Haneo, and Kanata are featured in the event scouting box, so you can also put these cards on your team. As a result, I think they'll rank higher than normal. And finally, Emma and Rin in the upper half, because of my seesaw theory, since these two girls got the lowest rankings, I expect them to bounce back up to the middle rankings because of some support from the whales that just want less competition. Going for the channel tickets, rank 16 through 20, Rina, Kasumi, Umi, Ruby, and Ellie. Rank 21 through 25, Ayumu, Nozomi, Shizuku, Daya, and Mari. Finally, the bottom three, Chika, Maki, and I. Chika's birthday is next week, so there isn't really much incentive to join her channel this week. And instead, you want to focus on the orange-haired leader of Muse. Maki got her time in the spotlight, which means she's going to plummet straight down to the bottom. 
And finally, Ai is not only the master of puns, but the master of seesaws. So I expect her to just go back to the bottom and the next week go back into the upper half and then the following week go back down to the bottom and so on. I hope you enjoyed this mini series of channel predictions. I wasn't very accurate for the most part, but maybe I did enlighten you on some aspects of school idol channels. And I think moving forward, it should be pretty obvious which girls are gonna rank high, mainly just based on if they're featured in events or if they have a birthday week. And if none of those factors are in play, then I would just go for meta girls because those girls will always be consistently in the top 10. And if you're not too sure what the meta girls are, just watch my card review videos because I'll have tier lists and you just see which girls are at the top. Well, it has been a pleasure doing these for the month of July. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the future where I have some other more interesting video ideas to come.